it's Holly the Twister Sister and I'm back with another Tutorial Tuesday! Okay guys, so this week I've got the easiest tutorial I've probably ever put up, maybe beside the one balloon dog. Um, but this one's super easy, but I was making this at parties this last weekend and the boys loved it and they all wanted one. So I thought I should show you guys what I was doing here even though I know you're going to get mad at me for how easy this is, but I'm sorry, I'm going to do it anyway. So we're going to be doing a quick and easy diamond sword. Yes, this is a Minecraft style. And um, swords are cool at parties, but when I mentioned diamond sword, and literally all I did was change color, that's what everybody wanted. So I'm just going to show you the colors I used and what I did and maybe you'll get a good reaction with it too. Now there is a more complicated diamond sword that I make which I haven't done a tutorial on yet. Um, but I could do that if you guys wanted me to. But this is a super easy two balloon diamond sword. So let's just get to it. Enough talking already. So I'm going to do my, this is a gold 260. You can also use brown. I'm going to blow it up about four or five pumps, let a little bit of air out. This is going to be a handle of our sword. So I'm going to do about a three inch bubble and then a small round bubble and bring my balloon back together and do another three inch bubble and then twist all that together using the nozzle, rolling it through to lock it in there. Come out, do the same thing on the other side here. So another three inch bubble, a little one inch bubble, Bring it back in and twist all that together. So we've got two little sides on our sword. And the rest of this we're going to be using for the handle. So we're going to do another one of these guys, but it's probably going to be a little bit longer because we want to use up the rest of our balloon. So I'm going to come down about, I don't know, what is that, six inches? Just kind of eyeball it with what you have left of your balloon. Do the small round bubble. And then with the rest of this, you're going to bring it back up and just take your tail and twist it into the top here to uh, hold everything together. And it's gonna lay like this. Okay, and now for the actual blade part. To make this a diamond sword, all I do is I use a Caribbean Blue 260. It's the perfect color for the diamond sword. And you're just going to blow it up all the way to the very end. We're not leaving any tail on this one. So fully inflated. Tie that off. Going to take your balloon, fold it in half, find the middle point there, and make one twist in the middle. And then you're going to swirl your balloon together. Just spiral it all the way. All the way to the end until you've got two little nubs here and you're just going to twist it together like this. It's our blade. Now you're going to take the handle of your sword and your blade where these little um, balls here on the bottom and I just put them kind of on my handle. I hold it like this, everything in one hand. And I take my other hand and I grab the blade and this part and just twist those two around each other until it's in position and then I just make sure everything is arranged and that's it. That is the diamond sword, a super fast, uh, super busy party version of the diamond sword. So um, yeah, boys love this, like literally they all want this. So I used to do gold and silver swords, now I do lots of diamond swords. So there you go. I know this was super easy. Don't worry, I'll have a cooler tutorial for you next time. And don't forget if you want to check out some more intricate advanced type balloon tutorials, including how to make these awesome blossom princesses, head on over to the twistersister.com. That's where I've got some cool tutorials to show you guys how to make all kinds of fun, amazing, more advanced balloon designs. But here on YouTube, I try to keep it pretty simple for all you new guys that are always joining us. And if you haven't joined us yet, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. You'll get notified every time I put out a new video, usually every Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday. 
And if you like this video, let me know by just giving it a little thumbs up and feel free to leave all your comments, suggestions, and criticisms down in the comments section below this video. That's it for this week's free balloon animal tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you end up using this for any of your customers and what their reaction was to it. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next week for another free balloon tutorial. Bye.